Today are about love stories, and some of them are working out awesome. Some of them maybe not so much. Let's see. So our first song today is about a particular very special lady in Dublin, who became known as the Spanish lady on account of her being Spanish. And our protagonist is very fanciful of this Spanish lady and he's observing her from a distance. And it's quite interesting to try to figure out why does he not interact with the Spanish lady? Hmm. Is it because he's very he's embarrassed about his own social status? Or is it because she is very shy? Let's find out.
is in a way more lucky than our previous protagonist who was pining for the Spanish lady because in our next song there are there is a contact between the protagonist and his object of admiration but something happens and she keeps asking for more and more presents and of course the song I'm talking about is Green Sleeves Originally, we can find that the song is being has been attributed attributed many times to King Henry VIII, which was the king who famously killed his wives more than probably write love songs for them. Most likely. It wasn't actually the Tudor king who wrote this song, but more likely it was someone who wanted to win his favor. Thou wilt. 
about a lady who is very difficult to date. Now for our next song, we're going from medieval England to Finland, where surprisingly, between all these little countries, our Finnish couple, our love story from Finland, is a happy story. And <laughs> our protagonist is once again the man, as you will see that many times we have these ancient love stories from a man's perspective, I suppose. Perhaps for the ladies it did not maybe seem appropriate that they express these very human feelings of affection. But in this Finnish song, our protagonist is very happy to be with his girlfriend and he sings her praises, sort of. He says, my love is beautiful, although she's very thin. And my love has blue eyes. They're a bit, little bit crooked. And her mouth is beautiful, although it is very wide. And to top it off, when they go to the market, even the horses laugh. But he's very happy about his girlfriend, nonetheless. Miu kultani kaunis on, vaikka on kaita luinen. Miu kultani kaunis on, vaikka on kaita luinen. Hei luulia illalla, vaikka on kaita luinen. Hei luulia illalla, vaikka on kaita luinen. Silmät silloin siniset, vaikka on kierronlaiset. Silmät silloin siniset, vaikka on kierronlaiset. Hei luulia illalla, vaikka on kierronlaiset. Hei luulia illalla, vaikka on kierronlaiset. Suon sillä supukka, vaikka on toista syltä. Suon sillä supukka, vaikka on toista syltä. Hei luulia illalla, vaikka on toista syltä. Hei luulia illalla, vaikka on toista syltä. Kun mä vien sen markkinoille, niin hevosekin nauraa. Kun mä vien sen markkinoille, niin hevosekin nauraa. Hei luulia illalla, hevosekin nauraa. Hei luulia illalla, hevosekin nauraa. Miun kultani kaunis on, vaikka on kaita luinen. Miun kultani kaunis on, vaikka on kaita luinen. Hei luulia illalla, vaikka on kaita luinen. Hei luulia illalla, vaikka on kaita luinen. And that was the traditional Finnish song Miun kultani kaunis on and the text is in Finnish but the song apparently 
derives from a song that comes from the parts in, of uh, Karelia, which today are in modern day Russia. Now, today, we have a bit of an exceptional appointment, let's say, with or episode with coffee and folklore, because our last song and our fourth song, normally I would choose five, but this particular poem is such an epic adventure that we cannot put anything else after it. The story, I will make a small synopsis because the song is in Swedish and the story of this ballad is about Yalmar, who is a warrior, and Hulda, who is a very beautiful girl. And Yalmar and Hulda meet and they fall in love wildly <laughs> and they promise to wait for each other or she promises to wait for Yalmar in case he would be called to go to war. And of course war comes and Yalmar is forced to leave to go and fight in some war, perhaps one of the 1800s, many 1800s wars that there were. And she, in the meantime, finds another person and they are about to get married. When Yalmar comes back because he has survived the war and he wants now to come back to Hulda and he would ask her to make good on her promise to, to marry him when he would come back. But she's already celebrating her wedding with this other guy. And of course, that becomes a problem and a fight ensues between Yalmar and the would-be husband of Hulda, and they wound each other mortally. And when Yalmar is lying there on the floor, uh, pretty in bad shape because he's about to die, Hulda remembers about her promise. And she is so terrified and shocked about this promise that she realizes that she has broken, because she kind of forgot in the meantime, that in three days time she also dies. And in the end, Hulda and Yalmar become married, but in the afterlife, as they are married next to each other. So, quite the Scandinavian type of a love story. But let's hear now this epic song. Och 
hans hand Väl, väl, välkommen, begärpade yngling igen Från striden i främmande land Tack så vän, sa ni jadar Men hur mör min flicka Jag gillar till henne Och snart ska hon lycka Med himmelskt förtjusande ögon på mig Du hindrar mig, Sven Jag begriper dig ej Men Sven tog i bitslätt och ryckte hans häst Tillbaka den ystra ett steg Jag fruktar att du blir ingen välkommen gäst Här stannar Hjalmar och Teg Med mannad i yngling med mord för att höra En tidning som hela din glädje ska störa Vet du att kön hulda för skräckliga bud Idag är den stolte Sebastians brud Och himmel och avgrund röd i Almar Och slog för att vivla att stål hans karna ho Men endast du väntar jag träffar dig nog Och du för den åldrige sro i spår sträck han red till den trolösa sudda Där fönstren det vore med blomkransar brudda Och taket gav genljud av hjälpsternas sång Av harpor så begar det sklang på en gång Här inträd vi Hjalmar i krigarens grud Och harporna tystnade med hast för grymman han går till den trolösa brud Och griper i brudkransen fast Han sliter den vild ur de mörkbruna håren Så blek så som låg är hon redan på våren Satt hulda med ett skräck i bevande varm För dårade en skaren stämnande arm Brudgummen höjde mot Hjalmar sitt svär Men Hjalmar han svängde och sitt Då ropte han nu sling att du är du värd Mitt svär det vit är bättre än ditt Som lejon du kämpade mot varandra En sträd för livet av en sträd den andra Som eld lyste ögonens gristrande par Men segern är nog Med makt i hatade motståndarens bröst Men den är åt honom rännet stråret brakt Och blek och med rosslande röst Sjönk ynglingen ödligt för redarskans sida Så mycket upphörde att gråta och vida Då hon på den döende men av huggen lilla han låg Och ve mig, och ve mig min jamar i sveg Hon ropte och händerna vred Att svära är lätt men det är ingen lek Att bryta så trolös sin ned Och samvetskvalle grade sig kring dess hjärta Och inom tre dagar hon Sidan av Hjalmar hon jordades då Ett brudpar i graven det blev bo ändå Vart gång säger sagan när midnatten har Sin svärdströdda flor säga sträckt Kring jorden har kylt den med vingarnas far Går hulda med silver vid dräkt Kring kullen där ofta med Hjalmar Just där hon gjorde den hon trolöst har brutit Och suckar och plagar så ängslig och blek Och ve mig, och ve mig Men jag har jag svek 
And that was the story of Yalmar and Hulda. Quite the ballad, quite the story. What do you think? Which one of these songs was your favorite? I would like to know. And for next week, the theme has not been decided yet. So if you have a special theme that you would like me to sing about, for example, people or maybe places, or seasons, perhaps, I don't know. Because in folk music, you can find songs about basically anything. So let me know. I read all your comments and I do my best to reply to everyone. And every time there is a suggestion, I take notes. Okay, so. Thank you for hanging out with me again. It's been a pleasure to play for you. And I will see you next Sunday on Coffee and Folklore for our next episode.